Hi guys, I'm filming a documentary for small school clubs. I was wondering if I can record you guys. Yeah, yeah for sure. sure. So what exactly is your club? Well, uh, we are a student-based club here at UOIT for the Global Network for Neglected Tropical Diseases. And what is the Global Network for Neglected Tropical Diseases? Now that's a really good question. So the whole focus behind the Global Network of NTDs is to provide political support, provide funding, and create public awareness to prioritize the most common and important NTDs and move to control and eliminate the diseases altogether. What exactly is an NTD? Uh, neglected tropical diseases are a group of diseases that occur in tropical and subtropical areas. NTDs affect over a billion people a year and cost billions of dollars. These diseases are most prevalent in low-income, underdeveloped countries where the infrastructure isn't available to help stop them. The lack of clean water, education, and access to treatments means that it's difficult to stop a cycle of infection. So how would you go about doing some of those things? Well, as a community, we need to advocate for wider integration and implementation of mass drug administration to control neglected tropical diseases like soil transmitted helminths, onchocerciasis, and trachoma. Our government should also focus on sustainable, um, nationally covered, integrated control efforts uh, with the country's Ministry of Health alongside the uh, World Health Organization. Uh, governments may also need to work towards uh, financial efficiency, creating uh, public support, and ultimately creating uh, support and compliance with uh, mass drug administrations. Alongside the integration of drugs, we also need to promote the use of integrated platforms to aid in the elimination of NTDs. These platforms should focus on the most important targets of water, sanitation and hygiene, maternal, newborn and child health, and proper nutrition for all. So what do you guys do as a club? We really just want people to be aware of these diseases. As most of us have lived in developed regions our whole lives, we're relatively untouched by neglected tropical diseases, hence the name. But they do affect so many people around the world. By creating awareness, we can generate engagement and get a conversation started. If people are talking about the diseases, then maybe more of a priority for funding will occur. We also participate in educational and leadership programs to help create community support, and we're lucky enough to be a part of the student outreach programs as well. So what would drive someone to get involved in something like this? We are all public health students, but we all have different areas of interest. And I think for us the biggest thing was when we finally did learn about these diseases and how many people were suffering uh, from them. Uh, we couldn't believe that people hadn't heard of them. It was kind of like an awakening uh, to realize that since we know, uh, we have to share this and let other people know. So I've been doing some research and I've read that one of the major programs that the Global Network for Neglected Tropical Diseases have helped with is N7. Can you tell me a little bit about that program? Well, the N7 program aims to end seven neglected tropical diseases by 2020. Funds generated through the N7 campaign go directly to NTD treatment. Through this program, there's often medications donated by large pharmaceutical companies, so the only cost that, com that countries have to cover is that of the transportation and delivery of the medications. Uh, to make this process really efficient, many medications are delivered in mass uh, drug programs. So many people are able to receive the vital medications all at once. The cost on average is 50 cents per person per year. Uh, many universities uh, already have N7 chapters uh, just like us. And we hope that this can help us generate some degree of awareness and funds to support the uh, campaign. Uh, N7 uh, N7's goal is ultimately to end diseases, but also create uh, future leaders in the process. And we also had the opportunity to participate in the Student Advisory Board and uh, Campus Leaders Council as well. The program also helped us to further our understanding of the campaign and allows us to create relationships with other students interested in the same goals that we are. It's really cool because students from around the world, including 23 different countries, all share this connection and hopefully this will inspire others to join our clubs as well. So are these programs global, just in one country, or how does it work? Well, of course, the uh, network uh, wants to end all neglected tropical diseases, but there are some countries that require particular attention. Uh, in particular, Nigeria and India have the highest uh, prevalence of neglected tropical diseases uh, in the world. There are many factors behind this uh, disproportionate, dis disproportionately um, high prevalence, uh, such as poverty, high population, inadequate sanitation, and also poor access to health resources, most importantly. 
Um, both countries have extremely high populations and many of the people in both countries are f affected by poverty which in turn inhibits their ability to access those uh, important health care uh, resources. Uh, many of these resources can also mean the difference between uh, being treated and also continuing to suffer from this uh, disease which may ultimately cause uh, permanent damage. So basically what you're telling me is the global network just wants to cure diseases. Well, there is a lot of focus on treating and curing diseases, of course, but we also really want to emphasize controlling and preventing diseases through education and improved sanitation. The global network also works to confront one of the major sustainable development goals presented by the UN. So the goal to ensure health and well-being for all. In order for this to be achieved, NTDs must be addressed. The global network aims to achieve this through several efforts. Efforts are also being made to provide education and training opportunities to aid in the development of treatments and delivery methods. Since many of these issues are isolated in poorer countries, they are not well known or understood. By educating people around the world, they can hopefully generate interest and spark global conversations. Have there been any accomplishments? Uh, there have been several successes thanks to the Global Network and many, hopefully more to come. Trachoma has been removed as a public health concern in 8 of the 12 countries that were once most affected. Education programs have reached over 2.5 million people on the Ivory Coast, and there's a five-year plan to eliminate elephantiasis in India. Uh, also, partnerships with the Indonesian Ministry of Health uh, have helped to uh, fill funding gaps for uh, NTD treatment programs. Uh, over 90,000 community health workers, in fact, have been uh, trained in Myanmar, and uh, so many other programs are uh, being run in many different countries to uh, combat the NTDs uh, that affect the most. Any last words for the documentary? So it's clearly evident how easily neglected tropical diseases spread, how devastating they can be, and how prevalent they are around the world. Our hope was not only to spread information about these NTDs or what the global network is and does, but to tell people just how important it is to have a global network in place. We wanted to take global networking one step further and educate all people with the hopes that it would help lead to the prevention and or the elimination of these neglected tropical diseases altogether. And as a club, we really hope we've at least started a conversation worldwide. Awesome, guys. Thank you. I think we've got everything we need for the video.